Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're going to start our meeting routine. Today is about our legs, our mobility in our hips as well. So we're going to start. So standing. So can okay, make sure that you keep the same with um, shoulders, hips, knees, and feet. So you feel a little bit wider. Relax your knees and relax your shoulders. We're going to engage our tummy one more time. That sensation of pulling the pubic bone towards your belly button and then your belly button towards your chest bone. So we really feel our six pack muscles and the pelvic floor muscles. So we're going to start with a couple of breaths just to concentrate us in the present moment. Release the thoughts or whatever is in our mind today. So take a deep breath to your nose. Exhale to your mouth with the sensation of fog in a glass. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, just one more, inhale, and exhale, good, so in that way, we remember, we activate the epiglottis to help us to control more the speed and the amount of air. You can do it again, but this time we're going to close our mouth and we're going to do the same sensation, but with our mouth closed. Remember that you lose the sensation, just back again, exhale through your mouth, then you feel it again, and then you close your mouth. So let's try a couple of breaths. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. And make it longer. Let's go again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale for four, one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. And the last, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. Let's start, everybody. We're going to do a spine roll. So we go inhale, exhale, drop your head, bend your knees. We move all the way down, bending your knees to don't have pain at the back of the legs and don't push our muscles hard. Inhale at the end, exhale, roll up the spine. And we're going to roll our shoulders forward. Again, inhale. Exhale, feel the spine moving down, vertebrae by vertebrae, bend the knees, no pulling sensation at the back of the legs. Inhale at the end, and exhale, roll up your spine. Roll your shoulders backwards. Again, inhale, and exhale, spine roll. Inhale, and exhale, roll up. And roll your shoulders. That's one. Inhale. Exhale, spine roll. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Keep your hands close to your legs. Kind of slide your hands on your legs. And roll your shoulders backward. Well done. We're going to open our legs wider. Remember that the routines have different intensity. So if you find one that is like, oh, this one makes me feel really good. This is the one I want or the ones you want to practice, save them. And then you have them already there in your, in your saving videos. <laughs> okay. So let's start. So move your toes to the side slightly uh, wider, your legs. And again, your toes are pointing to the side. Don't open them too much that you don't have stability. Now, just be careful with your knees that the knees are not pushing forward. Keep your knees pretty much above your ankles and the sensation of push your thighs backwards and pull up your tummy. Press your feet on the ground with that sensation of pushing the ground to engage your leg muscles, pelvic floor muscles, and your tummy. From here, we're just going to move our arms up and we're going to inhale, extend the legs, and exhale down. Let's go up and down. Let's go two and down. And just one more and down. We keep down. We're going to lift right heel and down. Left and down. Right and down. Left and down. Right and down. Left and down. Right and down, left 
down just one more right down left down extend your legs now we're going to rotate the feet or the legs to move the feet closer back again the same with hips knees and feet let's go spine roll in this part we can go a spine roll inhale exhale all the spine curving inhale at the end exhale roll up with the spine curve as well or we can go on to training position so we can go inhale exhale forward bend lift the chest straight your back and with a flat back we come all the way up and we roll the shoulders so whatever of the two okay so let's go inhale to prepare exhale we go down inhale at the end you choose or roll up or come with your flat your back flat now remember that you can mix both as well so you're gonna mix both if you want to follow me inhale exhale spine roll inhale lift your chest straight your back and exhale all the way it feels good as well it's more intense the stretching your glutes and your legs and your back again inhale exhale spine roll this time i'm gonna come up with the back curving you choose what you want inhale and exhale roll up and roll your shoulders well done last one inhale exhale spine roll this time i'm gonna come up with the back flat but if you want it you can keep a curve inhale straight your back exhale push the ground to raise your torso and roll your shoulders great we open again our legs open our toes to the side again the goddess pose but we just go down super we move our arms up and this time we're gonna move the two heels together okay now try to press with your big toes to give you stability to your ankle and your knee and get your tummy that pulling of the pubic bone towards belly button belly button chest bone let's go up and down. up and down. balance yourself on your big toes press with your big toes and down. up and five and four and three and two just one more now here is going to be intense, okay? Drop your right arm on the thigh, keep the leg same position, go this pose, swing the other one over your head, and he will look towards to the ceiling to stretch more. We hold for four. If you can go lower, maybe your hand can reach the ground, it's okay. If not, as far as you feel comfortable. Let's go two more breaths. Inhale, and exhale. I know you start to feel it in your legs. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Come all the way. Let's go other side. Ooh, this one is good. Let's go for four. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Let's go for three. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way up. Good. <laughs> it feels good in this part. Now move your heels in. Just rotating your legs. Let's go again. A spine roll inhale exhale curving your spine all the way down inhale we're gonna come up curving exhale all the way up and roll your shoulders so me i'm gonna go one and one but if you prefer just go curving it's okay let's go inhale exhale curving your spine this time i'm gonna take inhale the back flat straight back and exhale all the way you can add here your arms good drop your hands beside your body inhale again exhale spine roll curving your spine inhale i'm gonna come up curving the spine exhale in a big curve with the spine a little vertebrae by vertebrae or roll the spine roll your shoulders back the next one i'm gonna go through the back straight which is called trini inhale exhale spine roll inhale lift your chest straight your back and exhale all the way you can move your arms to the front if you want i just keep it beside your body roll your shoulders back That's how you feel good now we're gonna open again our legs we're gonna open our toes and we're gonna do the same are you ready but this time 
We're gonna, before we go to the stretch, we're gonna reach sideways and back. Side and back. Then make sure that the legs don't move. It's just tiny bit your torso sideways, but the legs in the same position. And back, and side, and back. Let's go two in each side, left, and right, and left. Well done, extend your legs, everybody move your legs together. And we go again, spine rolls. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, roll up if you prefer. And the head is the last thing to come up. Roll your shoulders backwards. Inhale, exhale, spine roll. Inhale, lift your chest, straight your back. Exhale, you can add here the arms if you want. Make it the salutations. And again, inhale, exhale, spine roll. Inhale, exhale, roll up. And we roll our shoulders. The next time I'm gonna go with the back straight. Inhale, exhale, spine roll. Inhale, straight your back. Push the ground, raise your torso. Good, drop your hands. Make sure that you stretch your back fully. Don't stay halfway. So if not, it's better to just curve your spine. Now from here, we're gonna lift the right foot and catch our foot with our hand. You cannot catch your foot, you can use a belt or a towel. If it's too much challenge for you for flexibility, you can always catch the wall or a chair. We push our pelvis forward to this stretch. If you are improving your balance or challenging yourself for balance, we pull up the tummy or pull up the pubic bone towards belly button, belly button towards chest bone, and we press it strong the foot on the ground to find balance. So the opposite sensation gives us equilibrium. Take two more breaths, keep your arm up. Inhale, and exhale. Just one more, inhale, and exhale. Drop your foot. So let's go other side. So remember for balance, it's important that we pull up and push down the foot is on the ground. So that opposite sensations give us stability, equilibrium, and balance. So let's go other side. Make sure that your big toe is pushing the ground all the time because your big toe is your main support for balance. Arm come up, push your pelvis gently forward, pull up pubic bone towards belly button, belly button, chest bone, chest bone towards to the chin. Let's hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and exhale. Just one more. If you fall, it's okay, you always can come back. Well done, everybody. Shake your legs a little bit. We open our legs wider, as wider as is comfortable for you. Make sure that your heels are in the same line. We're gonna turn the right foot 90 degrees, and we're gonna bend the knee just above the ankle. Be careful with your knee. Make sure that your knee is not collapsing forward. So you press your thigh backwards, keep the knee above your ankle. Pull up your tummy, and remember this part. If you don't feel comfy doing it, you can always do it against the wall. That will help you a lot to have more stability. So from here, we open wider as far as we don't pull up the groin area. Pull up your tummy, arms come up. From warrior two, we're gonna go inhale and exhale, drop the arm and arch our back. And then back again, inhale, warrior two, and exhale, arch in your back, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two, and exhale, push the ground to be able to move your torso. And two more, inhale, and exhale. And just one more, inhale, and exhale. Take a full breath here. Inhale, and exhale, release everybody. Straight your leg, move your feet parallel. Now the left one. Bend the knee above your ankle. If your knee is not above the ankle, maybe just move this foot closer to allow you to keep the knee above your ankle to support your knee joint. So from here, bend your knee, arms up. Make sure that this knee is not pushing forward. And from here, inhale, exhale, drop your right arm, reach up, look towards the ceiling. 
in health, you can watch towards the middle finger on your left hand when you go to warrior two. Exhale, come up. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, everybody. Inhale. And exhale. We take a full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Release. I know you feel really strong in this area. That's why the idea of this class. Extend your leg. Move your feet parallel. And we're just going to go forward bend. Again, we can micro bend the knees if we feel it's too much tension in the legs. Never stretch with pain. When the pain starts, it's not good for our ligaments, tendons, plus the nervous system. It's then then assigned to the muscles to don't stretch anymore. So a little bit backwards. So from your maximum, just a little bit backwards that you don't feel pain at all. So let's go prasarita. So from here, hands on your hips, inhale, and exhale, forward bend. As far as you feel comfy. You can open a little bit wider the legs if you feel. You can micro bend your knees to allow you to go lower, but don't force me your torso. We're going to move the hands or your fingertips between your feet, and we're just going to hold here. Try to move slightly the torso and the weight towards to the ball of your feet. Let's hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two, and just one more. Hands on your hips. You can roll up, or again, you can straight your back, push the ground, and raise your torso. Well done. We're going to close a little bit the legs. We're going to move our hands into prayer position. We're going to inhale. We're going to open tiny bit the, the toes, not too much. And we're going to lean towards to the right side as far as you feel comfy. And then back to center. And then we go other side. Make sure that your feet are comfortable for you to able to move the knee. Some of you prefer parallel. Some of you prefer a little wider. Check both how it feels more comfortable on your leg. So let's go ready. So let's go down. Some of us, we just go tiny down. Mm -hmm. Or some of you can really go down. Okay, so let's keep going. If you go lower, you need to open your foot a little bit to the side to allow you to go lower. And if you don't want to go too low, just keep your feet parallel. Let's go for three and come back. Other side, as you can see, my foot is opening every time I move, and that helped me to move lower. Let's try it together. Open, well done. Other side, yeah. And just the last one, everybody. Onto your left, well done. Move your feet parallel. Back again to prasarita, hands on our hips, inhale, exhale, forward bend. This time we catch our ankles and we just rest here, moving the weight slightly forward. We hold for four, three, two, and just one more. Inhale, hands on your hips, straight your back. Push the ground to raise your torso. Good. Move your legs together. And this time we're just going to go spine rolls. No straightening the back. Relax your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Spine roll. Good. Take a full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up. And roll your shoulders backwards. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, inhale at the end, exhale, roll up, roll your shoulder, again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, roll up, you can slide your hands on your legs, roll your shoulders, last one together, inhale, Exhale, we can always bend our knees. Don't worry about keeping those legs straight. Inhale, and exhale, roll up. Make sure that you never have pain at the back of your knees or at the back of your leg. Well done, everybody. I know this routine was a little bit longer, so if you have time and you want to repeat from the beginning, just click in the chapter, and it's going to bring you straight to the beginning of the sequence. If it's too time to say goodbye, you ask me. So we're going to move our hands prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Well done. Inhale. Exhale. 
and just one more and exhale hands back prayer position i wish you the best thank you for joining us and remember that you can find us in instagram as a sacred body studio remember to subscribe activate the bell to get the notifications when we release a new video like share comment and we'll see you in the next time see you soon <laughs>